morning, everybody. Our very own Heather Nelson is going to do our professional highlights today. Heather, we are so glad that you were able to do this. Thank you uh, for being so flexible. And you guys who are guests get to see what actually this network is like on the first Thursday of the month. So take it away, Heather. Um, so my business career um, started at Cattleman's Restaurant, and if anyone is here from Sonoma County, you probably have been to Cattleman's Steakhouse at some point in your life, and you've been served by the Bean Girl, which is where my start came from. Um, I started at 17 as a hostess and quickly moved my way up through the company. Um, my last job when I was there uh, was um, sales and marketing. Um, I also was the banquet manager, so that's where I got my first foot in the door with events. I basically booked all the banquets of 20 people or more at the restaurant and dealt with the EOs and all that other fun stuff. Um, I was there for 11 years, and I also did marketing. And uh, near the end of my journey there, I was working for their corporate office as one of their marketing uh, manager's assistants. So I have a lot of restaurant background, um, and I tell everyone, I tell my kids this too, start your career in a restaurant because I think that is the most important place that you're going to get learn customer service, learn hospitality. Um, I have so many great friends still to this day that I've met uh, working there. So I can't say anything bad about the restaurant industry. So um, that's where my start um, kind of started as far as events go and sales. Um, after that, I moved to the Sheraton in Petaluma. It's a hotel there. Um, I worked there it's kind of hard to tell you how many years I actually worked there, but because I worked there, went to uh, Encore where I'm currently at, went back to the Sheraton and then back to Encore. So and what, my total years out at the hotel was probably about three. Um, when I worked there, I started as convention services. So basically the liaison between um, booking events and group business. So book, doing, dealing with hotels and then also uh, food and beverage and catering and events. Um, did some weddings there. Uh, when I left and came back, I came back as a corporate sales manager. So that's where I really learned about um, sales and cold calling. And I mean, literally back in the day, I had to go to businesses and be like, who plans your events? Like, can I talk to that person? I mean, it was awful. Um, and so <laughs> that's where I got my start in sales. Um, but I love the hotel business. I always say if I could go back to an industry, that would be somewhere where I'd go back because I really loved working there. I learned so much um, and again, uh, made so many connections, which is how I met my new boss, Bridget. Um, Bridget Doherty is the owner of Encore Event Rentals and her and I worked together when I planned the Artisan Cheese Festival, which was the big cheese festival that um, Sonoma County used to put on. And uh, she was a vendor partner of mine and, and her and I instantly clicked and she said, come join my, come join my uh, rentals. And I was like, I had no idea about rentals. It was a whole new world for me. Um, when I started, it was actually under the Cal West umbrella, which is a heavy equipment rental company still to this day. Um, it's owned by um, her and her brother. And so when we started there, I learned about how to run a backhoe and a tractor and how to uh, run a weed eater and what kind of tire change you needed and all kinds of stuff. But um, I also did rentals. Um, and when, when I started there, there was six employees. And basically I was hired on a sales and marketing manager, but really I did everything. I um, helped load trucks. I uh, did the dispatching board, dispatched all the trucks. I did outside sales. I did marketing. I helped customers. And this is back in the day when we were really, really small. And so I really got an intro to how it all works. Um, when I was in that position, I decided that this was too much and went back to, went back to the Sheraton, but then quickly uh, realized that doing events was not something that I could do having children. So I um, had, during that time I had my first child um, and I didn't wanna work weekends anymore. I didn't wanna work nights. Um, so I went back to Encore as a sales and marketing manager. I've been here for nine years now, and um, our business has completely changed in the last six, seven years. Um, our, uh, we went from, like I said, six employees and three trucks, and as of before COVID, we had about 35 trucks and over 160 employees. So our business has completely grown over the years. Um, I don't 
want to take full credit for it, but I am definitely behind um, the growth of the company between all the relationships that I've created with our clients. And um, I'm basically what people would say is the face of Encore. And so I'm always at networking events. Um, I'm meeting with all new clients all the time. And um, I get it. I'm my, they always say, you get the easy job. You get to like schmooze everyone. And I'm like, yes, that's what my job is. I get to schmooze everyone. So I take clients out to lunch and, um, and take them out to coffees and stuff. But, you know, I'm the one that has to have the tough conversations at the end of the day when we can't deliver something or there's, um, you know, a situation that has arised or so I'm kind of like the, it's like good and the bad, I guess. But over the, the time being here, I've learned so much from business to sales, um, business development, relationship growth. And um, every year I'm challenged, you know, with something new. COVID was a, a perfect example of that. Um, but I've always had the support in doing the, the you know, the things that I want to do. So Bridget's always been a huge supporter and, you know, letting me be a part of the facilitator, uh, be a facilitator for the Be Better group. Um, I'm also on the board for Social Advocates for Youth. So she's always been a huge component of us being um, active in the community and supporting all the, the local nonprofits. Um, I also um, have been on the ILEA board, which for you guys who aren't in the events industry, it's the International Live Events Association. Um, I've been on the board for almost seven years and I went from, um, what is uh, the programs manager? What is that? I don't even remember what the title is. Whatever Samantha is now. Don't mess in my title. I'm the VP of programs. VP of programs. Um, I did that for two years. Um, and then I was president for two years and now been past president for two years. So um, that has taught me a lot about leadership and, and managing a team. And, um, you know, cause we're all doing this for free. So um, I definitely was faced with challenges, but I loved it. Um, and so here I am still at Encore nine years later, um, still trying to figure out what sales looks like and what networking looks like. And I'm um, just trying to stay committed to my our clients and um, try and educate people as much as I can about what's going on in um, our industry and, and help support us. Um, so that's like my, my, that's my work world, everything that I got going on there. Um, a little bit about personal about myself because I think it all kind of ties in together. Um, so like I said, I mentioned I have kids. I have two kids. Um, I have a she just turned 10 and a seven-year-old. I was married and got divorced and then um, recently remarried. I've actually been remarried for five years, which is crazy to think. Um, and that brought in another step. Uh, I have a stepchild who's 15. So who never thought that I'd be in a relationship that has a teenager. So now I have three kids. And then Last year, I was lucky enough to be a surrogate for um, an amazing family in Florida. And so um, that was an incredible journey that I went on. And then now I'm pregnant again. So literally like six months later, I'm pregnant again, but I'm pregnant with my child. Um, and I'm really excited to bring a baby number four um, into, into our family. So I'm really excited about that. But I would say in the last three years, I really went down a personal development um, journey. I obviously left my husband and that was really hard to, you know, shake up my family and, and really figure out how to navigate a new life. I literally started over. I lived at my dad's house and literally started everything. I had to buy everything for the house. We had to move out. And so um, at that point I was like, there's gotta be something that I can do. And, and I gotta be, you know, strong for my kids and get through this. So I read a Rachel Hollis book. I'm sure some of you know that I love Rachel Hollis, but she really is the stem of like my, my journey and where I am today. And so I went on a health journey and reading books and went to conferences and really in the last few years have really decided like, this is my passion. This is something that I'm really passionate about. I think that there's so much potential for other women to go through these journeys. And if I can show them my, you know, my past and, and what I've been through, then I can hopefully help change somebody or support someone in another way. So um, I'm a kind of at this point in my life where events is great and I love it and I love my job and very passionate about what I do, but I feel like there's more out there for me. So I'm in this, this space of what is next for me. So um, 
I've been taking some life coaching training online to really kind of um, see what that's all about. Um, I'm excited to announce and I'm putting it out the world because it's going to make me do it is I'm going to start a podcast this month. Um, I love talking and I love connecting with people and I've met so many amazing women through the years and I, I'm, I'm a huge podcast listener, but it's always, you know, oh, I made, I'm a millionaire and I am like multi-million dollar company, which is great. Like maybe I'll be there someday. Right. But I think that there's a lot of value and not of a huge community for women that are just everyday moms and trying to make, you know, make ends meet and try to um, live their best life and to manage a career. And so I want to have a platform where I'm able to interview other women to, to hear their stories. So my uh, podcast name is Life Conversations with the Twist, being the twist that is whatever journey or thing that has happened to your life. So um, stay tuned to hear more about that. So that's kind of where I'm at right now is kind of just figuring out what's next. I'm about to, like I said, have a newborn and I, my son's seven. So this is going to be a whole new thing for me, but I'm really passionate in helping others and educating others. And um, I'm just trying to figure out what that next step is. So that's me in a nutshell.